In this video, we're going to be uh, solving a calculus related rates question uh, using our implicit differentiation. The statement of this problem reads, sand falls from a conveyor belt at the rate of 10 cubic meters per minute onto the top of a, con a conical pile. The height of the pile is always 3 eighths of the base diameter. How fast are the A height and B radius changing when the pile is 4 meters high? answer in centimeters per minute. So you can see I've tried to depict what's going on here. I have sand falling uh, onto a conical pile and I've indicated uh, some important measurements for this cone, the height and the radius. Let's go ahead and talk about what we're given in the problem. First of all, we know that it's falling 10 cubic feet per minute uh, cubic meters per minute, so that's our volume changing. So we're going to call that dv over dt. And we'll indicate that that is 10 cubic meters per minute. We're also told that the height is related to the diameter. It's 3 eighths of the base diameter. Uh, so we can write that as h equals 3 eighths d. However, I don't have a diameter in my problem. So I'm going to rewrite that as 3 eighths, that looks much better, times twice the radius, which is 3 fourths of the radius. Now, since I already know the height, let's write the radius in terms of the height. They mentioned that the height is 4 meters at the time we're checking this. So the radius is four-thirds of the height. Okay, So we've mentioned that we have our uh, rate at which our volume is changing and we have our radius written in terms of our height. We also know that when this happens the height happens to be four meters. Okay, now we need a, an equation that relates our variables, volume, height, and radius. So we're going to use the volume of a cone. And the volume of a cone is one-third, oh my goodness, the volume of a cone is one-third pi r squared h. Since I know that r is four-thirds of h, I'm going to substitute that in right now. I get rid of a couple variables here, or one variable, I guess. So I've substituted in 4 thirds h where the r was. And after a little simplification, I think you'll agree that this works out to be something crazy like 16 over 27. pi h cubed. Now as in any related rates problem, we have to differentiate, differentiate implicitly with respect to t. That means over here, if I take the derivative on this side, I get dv dt. And then on this side, I use my power rule, which makes this 16 ninths pi h squared. And then because of the chain rule, dh over dt. Now I need to go ahead and plug in some of my numbers. My dv dt, as we mentioned above here, is 10. And my h is 4. So let's go ahead and plug those numbers in. On this side I have 10 equals 16 ninths times pi times 4 squared, which is 16 dh over dt. I've done some calculations, and as it turns out, 16 ninths times pi times 16 happens to be 89.3156. So when I'm solving for dhdt, I want to divide 10 by 89.3156, and that works out to be about 
11.196. Excuse me. I'm getting ahead of myself here. It's 0 0.11196. And that is in meters per minute. But we need our answer in centimeters per minute, so I have to multiply that by 100 centimeters per meter. And that's where the 11.196 comes from. Now, let me just take you back up here for a minute. If r equals 4 thirds h, and we differentiate both sides, and I'll do that in a slightly different color here just to show you what's going on, dr over dt would equal 4 thirds dh over dt. So I can go down to the bottom and answer part b by multiplying 11 point One nine six by four thirds. And that turns out to be fourteen point nine two eight centimeters per minute. I want to make sure I'm putting minute and not meters there. Okay. So here's the rate at which the radius is changing when the height is 4 meters, and here's the rate at which the height is changing at 4 meters.